Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Shana from Shanuki. In this video I wanted to show you the process that I use to make these altered playing cards. I've made them with little pockets at the bottom and then with some ephemera inside. So I'll show you, um, I'd start off doing the background of the playing card and then I add either vellum or transparency and then just decorate the pockets and make the little ephemera to go inside. So the process is actually um, quite simple. It just takes a little bit of time because there's a lot of drying time in between each one. But it comes out really pretty with a very vintagey feel. And then these ones, this has got a transparency that I have with, um, with writing on it that I used for that pocket. So I made three of each design and then this one just made on its own. It was my first one when I was just trying out the style. And I've just put a little um, brown tissue paper pocket at the bottom with some embellishments, a little bit of paper ruffle made in print um, and a little uh, wording that says remember when. So to start these we're just going to start by preparing the, uh, the playing card. So I'm going to maybe work with three, we'll see how we go. I'll prepare the three um, and then show you how to decorate them. I might create all three in the video, I might just do the one, we'll see how time allows. Um, I'm going to use a piece of tissue paper from a dress pattern. This one that I'm using is from a different dress pattern. It's actually a slighter, slightly lighter shade of the tan, which is fine. I normally like it a little bit darker, which is, let me see if I have a piece to show you of the previous one that I was using. It's sort of a darker tan. This one's slightly lighter, but we can just darken it with some um, Distress ink. We'll see how we go. So I've got a piece with each. I like to try and use the bits that have got the writing because it shines through really well on the back as you can see that's from the dress pattern so you have different layers that shine through the the different you have different layers sorry that shine through um from the bottom on the on the top layers sorry i'm rambling on a little bit so we'll start uh, with these and just to give a bit of a, a color at the back i'm just going to put some distress ink um, just around the edges and bring the even if it goes in a little bit is fine Because we just don't want it so stark white Now if you've watched my other videos for these altered playing cards, you'll see that I start the basis exactly the same So what I'll do for this I'll actually just speed up this process um, and if you needed more details of how I do it or what I do, you can maybe watch one of the other videos that I have it in um, slow motion or regular speed. I've used paper napkins for the designs that I got on mine. You can see there I had the pink hydrangea, the Eiffel Tower, and this one with the butterflies. So I'm going to be using a different napkin that I haven't used yet, just to see how that's going to work. I've already cut a piece um, and for the placement of the flower, and I just 
peel off the second layer so it's only the top thin layer that we are going to be using for this for application and I'm going to use one of the with the bird that I've already used in a previous one we're just going to apply another layer of Mod Podge and then apply the tissue paper on top now it is very delicate and you can't really move it around once it's stuck so try and get the positioning of the flowers or other elements sort of in your first go because trying to shift it it does tear so we're just going to gently press that down and I've just placed for the first one a flower on each at the top and the bottom this one I've cut the napkin so there's flowers sort of in the middle just to make them look different um, and as you can see the black print from the dress pattern is shining through which is what I really like in this effect once we've done this we're going to trim the edge again and then apply another layer of Mod Podge to seal it but first before that sorry we're going to put another layer of distress ink allowed these to dry overnight and now they're ready to do the next step which is the pockets as you can see they totally totally dry and I do this because we have so many layers of Mod Podge that um, it can get soggy all the way through and I don't want to run that through my sewing machine so I wait for it to dry um, overnight I and mean, as you can see you could actually even use these as is now I think they look really pretty they've got a beautiful color like vintage color to them with the different layers shining through I think they came out pretty good so now what we do for the pockets I use some vellum I have some pink vellum which could suit this one of the pink flowers and then I have the piece of acetate or transparency that has got the writing on this is already done like this I had purchased it as a 12 by 12 inch many many years ago and I happened to find it in my stash and I thought it would make a good pocket so we'll just cut a piece for that and then we'll use I've got the pink vellum here if you don't have vellum or acetate you could also still use the tissue paper it's a bit more tricky to work with because um, it's quite flimsy and thin so you have to just sew quite slowly but it would also work as a pocket if you wanted to just make a double like this and then just could make a pocket like that and just cut that off but that could also work you can really use anything you really have so what I do I don't cut them exactly to the size I leave it to overhang I sew with the sewing machine and then I trim it off it just makes it easier to to stitch so I'm just going to cut with the acetate you can't tear it obviously so I'm just going to snip a piece it doesn't have to be perfectly straight they can have an angle it doesn't really matter so that'll go like that and I'm just going to stitch on each side and the bottom and then for this I'm going to use the vellum and I'm actually just going to tear it I like the way that vellum tears we'll do about a third of the card so roughly about there we'll just tear a strip And that should be big enough for two. That should be right. Just snip that in half. 
and that's how your little pocket is going to be like that unfortunately I don't have the camera set up by my sewing machine so I'll have to do this off camera but I'm just going to mach machine stitch um, all the way around I'm going to probably use black for this one because I like it to um, coordinate with the black in the background of this one and then for this one I might use um, a cream color you can use any color you like um, a cream color because it sort of coordinates with this background and it shows better on the acetate um, I'll just see how I go and what colors I come back with and um, I'll be back in a second so I've machine stitched those this one I chose to stitch all the way around the card and over the acetate this one I've just done around the vellum I've used some straight stitch and some zigzag now I'm just going to trim the excess of the pocket and then we're going to make little ephemera to fit inside for the ephemera you can use anything really that you have um, I've chosen to put little tags I've made these small tags in color coordinated um, colors so I've picked up the turquoise and the pink from this background and I'll each get one of those for this one I've got a tag that I'd made a while back it's just sort of like a vintage with some writing vintage feel with some writing and I've added a paper ruffle as a tab top and then I'm also going to add a little admit one little ticket it's like a die cut in each one of those and this one will get a sticker and a little stamp that's in sort of like a red color to pick up the red from the background what I do do with these tags is I do round the corners if you have um, a corner rounder only because it's easier for them to go inside the little pocket so it doesn't hook or pull or tear I'm just going to round those and then oh, just pop them in that might be a little large so I might just trim it there we go and then the little and the stamp and that one's ready to go and then for these ones I'll just add a little I have a like a hessian string it's not really long enough to make a bow like in the other ones that I had made but we can just tie it sticking up the top I like it uneven I don't like to cut it even I like it sort of uneven and all over the place that and then this one so if you have um, bus roll tickets uh, sorry like bus tickets or movie tickets or any other kind of ephemera that you'd wanted to put in you can fill them with anything and these are great you can use them sort of on a cover of a journal oh, maybe that's a little too long there we go and there you have those so I think the most time consuming is obviously the background the altered card and then the fun bit is just filling it with all the little bits and pieces there are many uses for this you can use them on a cover I have used them I've used one um, on a cover of one of my journals you can put them inside with a paper clip uh, in a pocket in a tuck spot in a belly band you could send it as an RAK to someone um, the, you, the uses are really endless and they're really fun to make and I think once you start you actually get quite addicted I'm quite addicted and I actually want to get a whole new pack and do the 52 cards somehow coordinated but all different so that'll be sort of my new project once I finish my other projects that are pending anyway I really hope you enjoyed that I hope you found it helpful 
If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them in the bottom of this video. I'm always happy to answer questions. Uh, sorry if I do ramble on sometimes, if I'm too loud or speak too fast. I do try. Um, I'd love it if you sub subscribed to my channel. I have lots of videos um, that I'm going to be uploading in the next couple of weeks and months. So um, thanks for watching and see you later. Bye.